ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. It is just me, of course, Daniil Bettersmicki Brown. Since it's my birthday today, we decided to give you a special where it's just me and you, a one-on-one. -on -one. We have a nice conversation. Of course, I'm joking. If you're any fan of the Saints in any capacity, you'll know that our Rocket League team is going to be trying to qualify for the CA CCA Summer Series today. So hopefully we're going to catch the action as they try to make their way through the bracket. And I'm feeling pretty confident that they might be able to pull something through. Our team has been showing a lot of energy throughout this season. And obviously, while we're still in the off season, I still think they're going to be carrying some of that forward as well. We're going to have Spoods, Christian, and Nitrix join the varsity lineup today as they try again to make it through the CCA qualifiers. But it is going to be a best of three series up until we reach the semifinals where everything is going to be best of five onwards. The top two teams will qualify into league play. Once again, making it to CCA is a huge honor for most of the schools and everybody would love for a chance to compete, not just for the money, but once again, for the glory. So I'm very excited to see what these teams are going to be bringing forward. Our first team that we're going to be playing against has changed just finished up their first match. Saints got a buy in round one. It's going to be Old Dominion University and St. Clair College already trying to bring the heat. You see Nitrix going for a beautiful shot there. He, uh, he's out here looking to prove that he is worthy of the field. The ball's going to get stolen out from Christian, but Nitrix with an excellent save. Spoods there to capitalize off of it. Trying to get it over the Christian, but it's going to get intercepted. But Christian there carrying it forward. Nitrix potentially on the front side able to take this out. Yes, he's over there in the corner but it's going to get bounced back by a blue member Spoods there off the back he's able to carry it back but it's going to get demoed out Christian there for save him and Nitrix right now the only one standing between them and a goal for Old Dominion University but they're still here and they're still fighting it's going to be a battle off the center off the wall now cutting it down bouncing off the floor taking it to the next corner Nas is going to have to battle it out with Spoods beats the 50 but can he beat over Nitrix not quite Spoods comes down the wall and takes it to towards the net. It's going to get cleared out once again, but centered. This could be dangerous. There's no capitalization. And Nitrix is there to put a period at the end of that sentence, taking it out once again. But Blue is not letting them get it out. Old Dominion University, they are trying so hard to force Saints into making some kind of mistake, some kind of uh, gap in their defense. And they keep going for these demos as well. It's very well played, a very solid strategy that seems to work against most teams. So I can't fault them for trying it out against the Saints for sure. Uh, Old Dominion taking it once again to the net but it's going to get cleared Spoods looking to turn this into something favorable for the Saints, but Christian's there with the backup into the corner, but it's going to get stolen. Nitrix there to follow up. It's going to go towards the net, but no follow-up shot for his team. It's not going to go in, but Spoods trying to rescue it. Going to get, it's going to escape the jaws of defeat there. Christian, along with the rest of his teammates, all in this area. They're going to spread out, thankfully. They don't want to be all stuck in one spot, especially in Rockley, where anything can happen in the blink of an eye. So they're going to try their best to Occupy as much space as possible. It's going to be centered off the rim, but no! So close, Christian almost taking that goal for himself. A bounce off the post and launching it in himself. That would have been a beautiful play. But Christian, there to center it up for Nitrix! And an excellent shot! He was where exactly where he needed to be. And he was ready for that like it was foretold by the prophets of old. And that's going to be the first goal on the board going the way of St. Clair College. Now is usually where I stop talking, let my co-caster talk, but once again, it's just me here today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be taking it forward once again off the kickoff. Spoods is going to try taking this one into his own hands, or own wheels, I should say. Nitrix wants to relive his former glory from that first goal. Christian here potentially to help him out, centering it off to himself, but not going to be able to finish it off. Spoods and Nitrix weren't in the position for it. Going to be taking it right back to the center. Can No one's there to contest him. He's taking it right over, but Nas is going to steal it away at the last moment. Christian's going to get the demo, however. First one for the Saints this game. Nitrix clearing it out, preventing it from going over to their side of the field. Nas now dropping it down. Christian, once again, ready for it, but he's going to get demoed since he was stationary for so long. That's definitely a downside bit, but Spoos centering it. Nitrix ready once again. This guy is on fire. You might not have seen him throughout the season, but he's here with a point to prove that you will see more of him. Absolutely well played. Nitrix is seemingly the core of this team right now, and I am excited to see what more we can get out of him throughout the 
today. Christian and Spoods, they're playing off of him like it hasn't even been a day since they last played as a squad. And they are going full force. The Saints are looking in great form with Nitrix on their side right now. Vesh, of course, uh, in Poland right now, so he's not eligible to be playing in this series. Again, Nitrix stepping in for him. The demo as well going to come out from him. Spoods taking it forward towards the net, trying to wrangle this one, but against players of this caliber, it's never easy. He makes it look easy, however. Christian ready for that rebound, taking it up, centering it towards the post, but off into the corner. Nitrix steals it away from himself. Spoods ready for that. Can you find something here? No. He decides to play it safe. They're trying to get him set up for it, but he knows that he wants to go for it. In fact, he's going to set it up for one of his teammates now. Spoods is there. He's ready. That's going to be three now for the Saints. Nitrix once again setting things up for his team, and Spoods ready to capitalize. Such an excellent game so far for the Saints. One minute on the board. 3-0 Old Dominion University. They are going to have to find something here and answer anything that they can do to try to gain some advantage but once again with only a minute remaining to get three goals and the, the frequency of goals honestly isn't even that high while the sale oh, well hey they find one a little bit of a slippery trick there uh, I think there's a bit of confusion maybe a miscommunication some players weren't quite ready but Nas and Goat God kind of slip in there as uh, the Saints are trying to clear it and get that first one up over the Saints well hey as I was making the point that it might not be too easy for them to uh, to get things going they get one already. They just need to tie it up for get find two more. But looks like Spoos is going to widen that gap just a little bit more. Still 3-0 it might as well be. As Saints round up another goal. 46 seconds on the clock. Spoos with something to prove for sure. But as we're heading into this next game, which I got to say, this one's looking to be the Saints one so far. It's a best of three series. You lose this one, you're out of the tournament. Your chance for the CCA Summer Series is gone in the wind. I know these teams are bringing all they have here tonight. So, well, it's still afternoon, so I can't be saying tonight quite yet, but I know these teams are going to be bringing all they have to try to bring it forward. But as they clear that one out, Goat God with the save, Nas is trying to get something done here. Christian not going to make it easy for him as he carries it through the air. They're kind of just playing with the ball at this point. Spoods might even go for another shot, another goal, and Joe close. He fires at Christian with the last push they needed, but let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, that one was going in. That's one to five for game one over Old Dominion University. 13 seconds on the clock. I'd be surprised if either of these teams can find a goal with how tight the defense has been so far, but as we're going in to this last 10 seconds of this match here, or 10 seconds of this game, I'm sure both of these teams are figuring out how they're going to want to be playing. Well, I stand corrected, and I am surprised indeed. We are able to find one more goal here, one to six for game one against Old Dominion. The Saints are looking very dominant and in strong form so far. Nitrix and Spoods working together to get that one over there, but once again, as we head into this next game, I'm sure both these teams are going to be figuring out how they're going to want to change their approach potentially to find more success. For the Saints, I'm sure they're going to want to be figuring out how to make their success even more one-sided, whereas Old Dominion University might be trying to figure out how they can turn this, uh, this momentum block from the Saints into some kind of an advantage for them. It was a very difficult first game for them for sure, but once again, when you are playing against St. Clair College, everything it seems a little bit harder than usual. Um, this team is definitely one of the best out there. Old Dominion University, however, showing they still have some fight in them. Spoods, Nitrix, and Christian, once again, they're just playing so well off of each other. There was very, besides that one slip up that allowed uh, Old Dominion to get a goal, I feel like they've just been playing in such strong positioning off each other, setting each other up for success. Not a lot of room for error on either of these teams, and they recognize that. So they're playing as though they can't make any mistakes uh, because realistically, you can't, even if it means you play a little less aggressively than you otherwise would like to, you still uh, want to make sure you're not overextending yourself, overexerting yourself, and giving the opponent team too many openings to try to, uh, you know, take opportunities off of your mistakes. You just can't afford to do things like that in a high stakes situation such as this one. So uh, I don't blame either of these teams for just taking a little bit more of a measured approach. But 
if history has told me anything, I feel like the Saints might be coming into this one a little bit more aggressive than they did in the first. But we're going to have to wait and see as we head into game two in this best of three match. Let's see what St. Clair College has in mind for us after this game one. Spoots already setting things up, lining it up. A fake shot coming up from Nitrix, a real one coming up from Christian. And that's not going to be a goal, but it definitely is going to be a spike in the heart rate for Old Dominion University's lineup. Christian going for the demo, and now the heartbeat is going up even more. Spoots looking for something. Oh, he misses the interception. Nas! And that's going to be a relatively open net. Thankfully, Pea Shooter is there just in case it got over. Thankfully, it's not going to either way. Nitrix getting the clear, punting it back. Now it's going to be on Christian and Spooz to clear this up. Nitrix ready to center it back for his team. Passing it back and forth between these players just to make it a little bit more favorable. And Christian with a huge save, sending it to the post. And it's going to be an air interference as they're both fighting for it. Ultimately, it's going to get sent out of Orange, but sent right back in by Blue. Go God! With the rest of the team able to turn this into a goal over St. Clair College. Looks like, ladies and gentlemen, his History is going to be changed for this game too. Unif Old Dominion University is finding their stride in the series. But I know the Saints aren't ones to take this one laying down. They're going to be getting up, dusting themselves off, and once again, swinging with the aggression. As you saw in that first few seconds of that match, they were all three already triple committing right in front of the blue net. I predicted that they're probably playing aggre more aggressively, but I didn't think it'd be this aggressively. A little bit, it's going to bite them in the butt because, again, Old Dominion is able to take that and turn it into a goal um, relatively early on in this game. But Nitrix, once again with the demo, there's that aggression I was talking about. Oh, so close to finding the shot, but a little bit mistimed by both players. And now we're seeing Spoods battling it on the wall. Christian's there for the backup, but somewhat open net. Nitrix, of course, is there to turn that into a clear with the help of Spoods. Christian now chasing the ball as Goat God takes it over to Spoods. He's going to lose a 50. Spoods takes possession and sends it right over Nas's head. It's flying straight towards the net, but Pea Shooter thankfully had the boost to get in front of it before it went into the net. Nitrix taking it off the ceiling, trying to send it straight down with a pin shot, but it's going to get stolen out before he has a chance. Spoots now looking for an opportunity to turn this into a shot, but it's not really going to present itself. It's going to be left to Nitrix to bring this one back, and he's actually able to find it. It's going to go over Pea Shooter almost, but thankfully jumps at the right moment to stop that one from going in. Nas is able to steal that shot once again from the same the aggression is palpable from this team. They definitely are trying their best to get at least one on the board so far before the gap widens even further. It would be a hard uh, position to recover from if they aren't able to find something and something soon. But Nitrix now, Spoods waiting for him at the net. Going to be taking to the air. It's almost hovering there for a bit there with that momentum transferred from the Vico. But, ooh, off the post, and it's going to get swiped away as he went for the clear. Old Dominion University, they're going to be able to shove another one in the net. And that's going to be their second goal over St. Clair College in this game, too. Hey guys, I gotta drink water sometimes. Bear with me as we head into this next uh, phase, I'll call it. Spoods and the rest of the Saints. Once again, the aggression is not relenting. Right now, they're forced to play a little bit more defensively as the ball is stuck on their side. But as soon as it gets cleared, you bet you're going to see Christian and Nitrix chasing that one down. Potentially Spoods if he's the one that clears it up. It's usually Nitrix plus one that's chasing this ball. And it seems Christian trying to make a fake little play off of the corner there. Nitrix intercepts. It's not going to be a 150, but it's going to at least neutralize. Reset to neutral, as I may say, in uh, other contexts. And Christian now... Chasing that one back, Nas is going to send it over to Spoods inadvertently, and Spoods is going to send this one out of Orange Corner. Potentially, no, Nas is going to steal it, but they are going to be ready. Nitrix is going to clear that one from the back, and Christian's up front going for a shot. It's going to find it. You don't want to leave gaps in your defense as wide as that when Christian is on the field because he is like a doorstop. He just finds gaps and wedges himself in there and takes another goal for, for St. Clair College. 
college rather over Old Dominion University as we're heading into this next one here. Kickoff, Nitrix already with the aggression and the demo stealing the ball at the same time. Two birds with one stone, one ball with two boosts. And he's gonna be able to take that one back. Nitrix already on the midline, preventing it from going over to Orange Pea Shooter. Trying to intercept Nitrix, but able to succeed. Spoods and Christian fighting on that midline once again. Christian in the blue corner, but not going to be able to make anything work here. Spoods as well. Just chasing the ball, preventing it from getting back, but getting bumped into the net. In fact, actually a little bit advantageous. If there was going to be a follow-up shot. Nitrix would have been ready for that seal. One minute remaining. The Saints need to get one goal if they want to tie things up and take and have a chance at taking this game. But with the demo coming out from Pea Shooter, it looks like they are just playing full offense. They don't want to let the Saints find anything, but with a nice clear, oh, if only Spoots is a little closer there. That might have been a huge and beautiful goal, but unfortunately, Old Dominion University is playing their defense so well, it's messing with their timings now. 30 seconds remaining. Nas right in front of the Saints net, but not going to do anything too risky. Like I said, you have a lot on the line here. You don't want to do anything unnecessary. Nas is going to clear that one out of blue net. Spoots in the air, trying to find a way to turn this into a shot. Pinch shot, no, but Nitrix tries to turn that into something. It's not going to work out either way. Going to go into orange corner. Nas is trying to clear that one out, but no, it's not going to work. Saints, 10 seconds off the clock. Can you find a goal in time? It's going over to mid corner. Christian. Oh, it's not going to work for them. Nitrix, it's in the air. Can you make something work here? So close, but no, it's going to get slammed to the ground. That's 2-1. Old Dominion University, like I said, they have fight in them. They got quite the score gap the Saints had over them in the first game. But here, a lot closer. And the Saints weren't able to work their magic to turn this one into a one-sided victory. Old Dominion University, they are able to really bring things back. And uh, hopefully the Saints can pull it together for this next and final game in this matchup. St. Clair College against Old Dominion University. The stakes are rising. This is the first match that we're seeing today and it's already such a good series. This team, both of these teams don't want to give either of these teams an inch because they know, especially with the speeds in Rocket League, that can very quickly turn into a mile. The acceleration rate is probably like uh, 0 to 100 in 0 0.2 seconds I'd estimate with all these boosts flying around and aerodynamics but as we're heading into game three I can only wait and see what these teams are going to be bringing for us in store uh, as we saw in that first game the uh, aggression started slow but really ramped up in that second one I feel like both teams are going at 100% at all points in time I feel like very few schools very few teams feel comfortable playing truly truly defensively um, and the Saints I think they're very good at it when they choose to but they always opt to be aggressive uh, even in their defense their uh, defense is looking to try try to steal and uh, try to turn things into shots, but a very great clear from Nitrix playing that defense, like I said, so well. Christian ready for that shot, but Nas comes around the corner out of nowhere, turns that into a save. Christian on the ground with Nitrix ready to stop that one from rolling in. Pea Shooter waiting for his time, waiting for that ball to come towards him, and he's gonna tip it off. Not gonna get too much off of that, but Goat God is gonna be able to try and make something work off of his Spoods is gonna intercept that one, pinch it off the ground, make it bounce into the corner. It's gonna get cleared, Goat God, but Christian's ready for it. Bringing it back, Nitrix also there. If he can get this centered up, it could be a very clean shot for either of his teammates, but it's gonna get intercepted once again. Spoods passing it up. It's going to be going to the corner. Spoods hopefully going to try to center things up for Nitrix once again. But no, it's going to get intercepted once more. Christian chasing the ball, preventing Pea Shooter from getting at a good position. Spoods ready in his net once more. Just playing patiently, waiting for his team to get in position before he goes for the clear. And once they do go for it, now it's looking very good for the Saints. But <laughs> just as good as it was looking, it quickly turns into a nightmare scenario as Old Dominion steals it away and turns it into a beautiful shot. The Saints are down one once again. And we're only, th uh, we're only three minutes remaining in game one here. Or sorry, game three of this best of three series. Both of these teams might be getting a little nervous as uh, the, rea the reality is closing in on them. They might be 
they might be recognizing that their hopes of qualifying for CCA really does rest on this Game 3 scenario here. And the Saints don't want to let that affect them too much. They want to be playing with the fire in their belly, but they don't want it to let it burn them. They don't want to let it consume them as they're trying to get a little bit closer here, trying to round things off a little bit more. Three minutes remaining. Christian over on blue side, but not going to be anyone to follow up off of that attempted clear. Spoods is there. Nitrix is trying to pass it down to him, but Pichu is going to take that one back. Nitrix intercepts, or Christian rather, intercepts that uh, attempt at a clear for uh, Old Dominion University. Spoods setting it up. Getting it close, pinching it off of the post, but it's not going to go the angle that I think he was wanting it to go, allowing Christian to make the shot. It's going to go a little bit too fast, a little bit too overhead. Spoods ready for something here with the work from Christian. Team up. The tactics, the goals, and the strategies all working together to create a symphony of coordination. Very excellently played by the two of them there. Nitrix was even there just in case things didn't go their way. They were all inning, fully committing on those attempted shots. And now we're going into this next kickoff. Spoods already with the breakaway, making this 2-1 in the blink of an eye. Just as Old Dominion University thought they might have had this one figured out over the Saints, they come back with a 1-2 punch. Lightning speed, two minutes, 18 seconds remain for Old Dominion University to try to tie this one up. They still got plenty of time to work with, but I feel like now the Saints are just gonna keep ramping things up. If they can find a follow-up goal that quickly with that much confidence, I have no reason to believe that they're gonna try stopping anytime soon. And just like that, oh, that almost was a goal for Old Dominion. Off the post, Nost and uh, Pea Shooter trying to make that one work, but the defense, once again from the Saints, they're just so fiery about it. Another demo coming out for Old Dominion. Nas steals that one away from Spoods. Gokad trying to turn this into a shot, but Nas is there as well. But oh, it goes off the corner of the post. A heartbreaker for sure. And another demo going out from uh, Old Dominion University. Nitrix in the net, ready for a revenge demo coming out from Christian. They are tired from the bullying, and they are starting to defend themselves. Now, as Nas flicks that one up, Pea Shooter flicks it down, but it's gonna get hovered up by the Saints, clipping that one. Momentum's gonna get transferred to the air. Nitrix, almost turning that to a goal, but no, gonna get demoed out. No follow-ups either. And then the, all of Old Dominion University was there to cradle that one away from their net. Nas is gonna intercept the, try to, the setup for Nitrix. Spoods as well, midfield. No one's in net, unfortunately. And that's gonna mean that Goat God and that perfect setup is gonna be able to turn that into a goal. We are one minute on the clock. Both teams tied up two to two. Oh man, they really do wanna make this a close and scary game as we're seeing so far. This could be going into an overtime loser of this. They're not out of the tournament. They will be sent to the lower bracket, but of course that means that your run is gonna get that much more difficult and that much more scary. But 50 seconds now, Christian and the rest of the Saints, it's like doing a surgery. They have to be precise and they have to be confident in every stroke they make. They have to try to paint the perfect picture on their patient and they find it. This is the kind of surgery that you wouldn't want to have done on you because it's a butchering so far. Saints able to turn that into a very clean goal. 38 seconds on the clock for Old Dominion University to find an answer. Can they make this one work? Christian and Spoods. Well, now it's just Christian after Spoods gets turned into a pile of ash. Nitrix ready in blue corner, but gonna get cleared out ultimately. Spoods back from the brink of extinction is gonna be able to clear that one out. Nitrix is battling one of Old Dominion's in their net. Might be holding them there. Could still be there. No, broke free eventually. Nitrix setting that one up for uh, Nitrix himself. And uh, he's gonna find a demo. Christian with an interception turned into a goal just to really make the statement clear. The Saints are gonna overcome that first early game, the second early game 
lead turned into a loss for them in game two, and then it looked to be the same thing in this game three. Old Dominion finding the first goal, but Saints uh, doing the one-two punch to make it one to two, and then tying it up once again, and immediately bringing it back to a two to four situation, widening the gap even more. Saints are gonna advance in this bracket. Old Dominion University, even if they find a goal here, they still would need one more to take it back, but with no time on the clock. In fact, it's gonna be Saints taking the opportunity to get even one more goal on the board. And that's going to be your game three, ladies and gentlemen. St. Clair College triumphs over Old Dominion University. They're sent to the lower bracket. St. Clair College advancing on in the upper bracket. Their odds are looking good as they inch ever closer to making the qualifier for CCA Summer Series. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an excellent first match. And as we're getting ready for match two, we're going to send it to a quick break. But don't go anywhere. We're going to have plenty more action like that, hopefully, coming up through the rest of the day. We'll see you very soon. Potentially.
and gentlemen, welcome back. We have our next matchup for St. Clair College. They're facing off against Rochester Christian University in the CCA Summer Series East Qualifier. And we have tax evasion enthusiasts uh, trying to set something up for his team there. But looks like the Saints, once again, off of the momentum from that previous game, previous series, they are looking to be feeling confident, feeling ready, and able to address most of the common problems that teams throw their way. Um, that aggression that we saw coming up from Rochester was not enough to stop the Saints from bringing back their own, as we already see Christian and Spoods and Nitrix finding the first goal of the match. It's going to be a quick pop. That ball is not going to do any fancy effects. It's just going to disappear and reset itself for this next kickoff. And it looks like nobody's going to be able to tur turn that into an immediate goal, as we saw the Saints do a couple times in that last series. But here, at least, both teams are going to have a chance to showcase their skills a little bit better. 1-0 so far. We got about 4-10 and 10 on the clock. Rochester Christian University is going to have plenty of time to figure out the Saints strategy and overcome it with their own. The best part and the most important part about Rocket League, I feel, besides showcasing your technical, mechanical skill, is being adaptable, being able to change your strategy and your approach in subtle ways to really come out on top over your opponents. And I feel like if either of these teams is going to come out on top, we're going to have to see that coming out for sure as Rochester Christian University once again facing down the Saints' overwhelming offensive tactics. Hopefully, they're going to be able to figure out an answer here. Hopefully for them at least, but hopefully for me, hopefully for the Saints fans at home, they won't <laughs> as uh, Nitrix already chasing down that ball, trying to send that one in, but they were able to stop him and uh, put away that bullying for now. Spoods. Getting a nice clear wasn't necessarily a save, but if that ball was going a little bit faster and a little bit longer, that definitely would have been a goal. Uh, so thankfully, he was there able to stop that one. Nitrix up in the blue corner, up in the orange corner. Not quite ready for a goal as the team is not able to set one up yet. Spoods looking to turn this into something. Christian's on the ground below waiting for him. Nitrix there on the back line. Ready for anything that comes his way. It's going to get cleared out. Christian's on the ground once more. Ready to take that back. Send this from a rebound into a clear. Spoods going to win that 50. Magic taking it into blue corner once again. Nitrix stealing it out. Keeping it in the air. Spoods volleying it over to him almost. But it's going to get pinched back towards Christian. Nitrix and he are going to have a little bit of a collision. But it's all love as they are going to be able to bounce back relatively fast. It's going to get cleared or over into Orange. Spoods with a quick shot. Nitrix sending it back over to Christian, but he's going to head right back into the net. Make sure it's not going to be open. It's Nitrix and Spoods now taking the reins over this offense. It's been now a full two minutes as uh, we had that last goal, but nobody able to really find the edge over their opponent here yet. 150 on the clock now. Luca. Riding the ceiling, sending the ball down. Christian already ready for it, as he always is. Just getting in the uh, line of uh, projected movements of the ball and is always ready to stop it from going from where he does not want it to go. Like a cautious parent letting their child roam around in the park, they are keeping their eye on it and predicting their next moves to make sure it doesn't go anywhere too dangerous. Spoots trying to do the same, but on the other side of the field, trying to get that one sent over to the orange corner. But Christian now taking offense into his own hands. Nitrix and Spoots on the back line. Spoots clearing it out, allowing Nitrix to go for the full clear, but it's going to have to be another 50 situation. Nitrix backs off, ready to turn this into a potential setup. One minute on the clock just about can Rochester Christian University find a goal seems tax evasion enthusiasts almost gonna get some work done here but ultimately gonna be overwhelmed the Saints just bullying him not even gonna go for a demo but just brutally bash again to him preventing from making any kind of precise movement Nitrix now off the roof of his car trying to set this up into a nice clean shot for one of his teammates but not gonna go his way Luca now the ball riding his roof but Spoots intercepting it gracefully. Christian 
watching all the action from the net. Gonna go for a nice, clean, predicted save, but Spoods is gonna be there to make it so it's not even necessary as he steals the ball away. But a very clean shot sent flying into Luca's grill and then rebounding it off of him into the net with an impressive amount of speed and force. 120 kilometers per hour. I would not want to be standing in the way of that one. Now we're tied up one to one, 30 seconds on the clock. Can anyone take this out or are we gonna be sent into an overtime? We'll have to find that out as both teams are duking it out on the field once more. Luca gonna be ready for something here and ready for any kind of magic to be worked with Spoods. Carrying it forward over to the orange side, but it's gonna get launched over to blue and the net's open. Nyshix desperately clawing his way back over to it, but it's in the air now. Spoods and Christian on the ground, ready for this. Anything, one more bounce is gonna be about all you can afford as now we're on that one second, but gonna hit the ground. We're gonna be sent to an overtime in this game one immediately. Competition here is fierce. None of these teams are going to relent in their hopes of making it one step further in the winner's bracket. Again, it just makes life so much easier as long as you're up here. Both of these teams now doing their best to establish some kind of force, a show of force. It's like an army march. They want to intimidate anybody watching, but a huge shot's gonna come out. Nitrix, from Nitrix, Luca's gonna get the save, however. Tax Evasion Enthusiast trying to turn this into a goal for themselves, and almost, but Christian sending that one to the corner instead, letting the momentum ride out, but into a more safe area. 41 seconds into this overtime. Spoo's gonna go for the demo. Nitrix, tired of waiting, coming out of the defense, and sending himself into the offense, bouncing off the back of his car. Christian riding the corner. Now Spoods sending it this one back. Tax evasion enthusiast once again, always where he needs to be. Spoods climbing the back wall. It almost goes to the post, but it's gonna get stolen out. Spoods on a breakaway. Can he turn this into something? No, it's gonna get intercepted. Is someone gonna be able to fall off the rebound? Not quite, as Christian making his way over to the net. He's gonna get the save and maybe a clear. He's gonna be able to play aggressively now that his teammates are back. Bouncing off of his roof, this one's gonna be a lob shot over to orange side, still in the air, in fact, but they're gonna turn this into a shot of their own, sending it back to blue. Christian and the Saints swarming around like flies over a leftover rotting sandwich. They're just relentless with their pursuit. Nitrix over in the middle, ready for this one. Tax evasion enthusiasts cradling it towards blue. It's still over on blue, but no shots to come out yet as Nitrix breaks the tension by stealing it away. Still in the air. Rochester Christian University bumps that one out of the air alongside the player carrying it. Spoods now. Bouncing it back, cradling it towards orange, but it's gonna get saved out once again. Neither of these teams showing any sign of weakness, but someone's gonna have to give eventually. The unmovable object meets the unstoppable force. Who's gonna come out on top right now? Spoo's going for a nice cheeky shot. Could have been something there if there weren't two players in the net, but you're forcing them to sit there. This is every second that passes, you're on their side. It's the second that passes that they're not on yours. And you will take any moment like that you can get in Rocket League. Defense can be so scary sometimes, but it's flying away from full field. He's going to send it that into the corner, but not going to be able to get that shot set up that he was hopefully looking for, pinching it off of the uh, top post. But nice lob shot once again. Spoods, the Saints are really favoring these lob shots, rebounding from the corner over to the center, but nobody's there to take the shot. Once again, Spoods doing the same thing, but it's going to get uh, swatted up into the air. Nitrix rolling through the sky, setting the ball to the ground. Christian as well, driving himself a little crazy over to that ball. Spoods watching, waiting, looking for his moment to strike. He just misses it. Nitrix is gonna be there to follow it up, however, but as Luca sees the opportunity, he goes for it, steals it right away. Blue now facing a little bit of pressure. St. Clair College as they lose one, Spoods is down. Christian's gonna get a huge save, however. Clearing it out allows time for Spoods to get back into the game. Nitrix and Spoods ready to make the playoff of Christian. But, oh, goes for the 50. He's gonna go straight for the demo. Not gonna be able to follow up off of that, of course. Gonna be reset once again. He's already back in the game, but losing that boost is gonna be a bit of a problem. You're gonna have to find a moment to refill. But a shot's gonna be found as Rochester Christian University 
notices the opportunity and they go right for it, not hesitating for a second, almost a full second game. This overtime was 351 into it before a goal is found, and that's going to be game one over Rochester Christian University. St. Clair College down one here. And I feel like it really is the case that these teams are just playing out of their minds, doing their best to figure out how they can really bottle and contain their offense to turn it into some kind of advantage. Rochester Christian University, however, they were able to just eke out the edge over the Saints in that one game here. A very close scoreline once again. Both of these teams should be proud of what they're accomplishing so far. It's been one hell of a match to watch and I'm very excited to see what these teams pull through for us in game two as we get right into it. Will St. Clair College be able to tie up the series or will Rochester Christian University overcome and make their advance through the winner's bracket? We're gonna have to find out after this kickoff. Christian following it through with the Nitrix. They're ready to go for it, go for something here, but a demo immediately. Looks like the Saints have once again picked to go 100% into their offense and I can't say I blame them. It's so much easier and so much more comfortable to play the game when you know all the pressure's on your opponent instead of you. Being precise with these saves takes a lot more effort and energy than it may look, ladies and gentlemen. So any second you can get where you're not forcing one of your players to do that, you'll take it for sure. Spoods now. Chasing that, intercepting Nitrix. Oh, it's gonna go for the post. Can you get a follow up? No, not quite. Taxivation enthusiast, the shot's not gonna have anyone to carry the torch. Nitrix ready for that, but it's gonna get swooped out around him, clearing it, centering it, but it's gonna find its way over to the corner. No one was ready for that shot. Christian taking it over Luca, over Magic, but Tax Evasion Enthusiast, last line of defense, able to send that back over to Blue, and Spoots is gonna be able there, it's gonna be ready to meet him right there. Christian trying to find it over Magic, but it's gonna get beaten out. Now Tax Invasion Enthusiast, Soul hero here. The one ready for it all. Back to 100% boost. Luca chasing down the ball into the corner. Spoots is going to get the clear just a little bit. Magic is going to be sending that back to his team, but Saints are going to take that and turn that into a full on rotation. But as Magic sees the chance as it makes its way back over to blue side, he goes for the shot and Saints weren't able to defend that one. It goes right over Christian. That's going to be another goal for Rochester Christian University. In this game two scenario, St. Clair College might be feeling the heat just a bit as uh, they are still fighting for their life here. Going down to lower, so it wouldn't be the end of their run, but it would be the end of their cushy, comfortable run. You know, just uh, knowing that you have at least one loss in your back pocket, you don't want to redeem it too early, especially unnecessarily, but another shot coming up from Tax Evasion Enthusiast, bouncing it off of himself and then following up off of a shot from his front. Look at that, a self pass into a goal. Couldn't get cleaner than that as the Saints try to go for the save. Like I said, it's just so much harder to go for the defense than one may expect and they are going to do their best to make sure they don't have to do it anymore. As now, Rochester Christian University has more than demonstrated that they are very capable as a team, but a nice shot coming out from Nitrix. Very well done by the Saints. They, of course, demonstrating that they still have plenty of fight in them as well. Rochester Christian University can't get too comfortable now. Saints are still fighting back. Of course, you don't really have much of a choice to fight back. You fought so hard already. You have a lot to prove. You want to play in the CCA Summer Series. So you have no choice but to win. And if you want to get into this qualifier, you just have to show that you deserve it more and you want it more than your opponent team. And the best way to demonstrate that is on the field, of course. Show everybody what you're made of, what you can do, and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, as it looks to be the case that what both of these teams want to be doing right now. Demo is going to come up from Luca, making an example of Christian over there as he respawns. It's going to be now taking things relatively slowly. Trying to make something work here, trying to make something happen. Nitrix sends that one over to Luca, but he's gonna get that save off of the roof of Spoods on that wall. Magic trying to turn this into a shot. It's gonna get cleared out. It's gonna go right over, in fact, the defender from Saints side. 
not going to be able to make that one work, unfortunately. And that's going to be another goal for Rochester Christian University. Two minutes on the clock. Saints still plenty, 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 plenty of time. But, of course, you don't want to add that unnecessary pressure to yourself. They are still trying to fight, trying to make something work. Christian taking it back into the corner. Luca following it, stalking his prey. Nitrix taking it to the ground. Spoods ready for it as well. Tax evasion enthusiast. Wanted to look for an interception there, but not going to find one. Still playing things relatively slow. Magic passing to himself over into the corner. And Luca, oh, just missing the shot. A little bit of a poor timing. Maybe even one, maybe even less than one second there, being the difference between them and a goal. Shot coming up from Spoods. A beautiful one at that, but an even more beautiful save coming up from Luca. Spoods intercepting that breakaway. Luca's going to demo him for it. Luca now. Trying to chase Christian, mirror him. In fact, Nitrix goes for the shot, but Luca was able to stop that one. Spoods on the wall, trying to pass it back to Christian, but it's going to get forcefully pushed back by the opposing team. Christian once again in the skies, but once again getting intercepted. A very common theme so far. One minute on the clock. Saints, can you make something work here? Show that you don't want to have to fight in the lower bracket. That's so many more games. And that is also so many more scary games. If you can fight back, if you can pull it through now, you have to do it now. Christian getting the save, maybe setting up an opportunity for his team. Ball's going a little bit too fast for anybody to make something work, but it's going to get slowed down as it gets lobbed into the air. But not going to be what the Saints exactly want, as these are going to be shots coming out from Rochester. They're going to be sending that into the sky, over to the corner. Spoods intercepting that, taking that to be a clear off the wall. Sending it flying away, but not for long. Luke intercepts. Spoods riding around. It's a ring around the rosy, but no pockets full of posies this time. It's all just diesel rocket fuel. Ten seconds on the clock. If they can get a goal very quickly, they might have a chance at a breakaway goal off the kickoff, but looks to be the case that's not going to happen anymore as the ball hits the ground on that one count. That's going to be Rochester Christian University going up 3-1 to one in Game 2 over St. Clair College, taking the series 2-0. Oh, the Saints are now sent to the bottom bracket where they will have to fight more games. And a lot of scary games, one more loss will mean elimination from this qualifier series. Everything's on the line right now for the Saints as they make their way through the lower bracket. So, of course, naturally, the games are probably going to get a little bit more intense, which means you won't want to miss them. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for the next match. We'll see you guys very soon.
ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Saints, but this time we're in the lower bracket facing off against Université de Montréal. Mon Montréal? I'm not sure how the French pronunciation of that one is, but I'm sure the French all and the English all have the same word for hype, and that's ah, which I'm sure we're going to be all saying by the end of this game. Loser of this one gets eliminated from the tournament. Their hopes and dreams, their chances of trying to make it into the CCA Summer Series will be dashed as the ashes Christian leaves from the remains of Udem's Jeremy. But Nitrix with the clean save. Chemo looking for something there. Nitrix steals away. Jerry is going to be able to try to fight for it, but ultimately going to bide his time in the corner. Not going to find the right moment, but still waiting for the perfect time to strike. And there he is. He finds it. Riding the wall, trying to get that 50. Not quite going to get it, but Kimo is ready for it. Tokyo on the ground, but it's going to get a little bit of a fight there with the goalie from the Saints side of things as Orange versus Blue over in this net. Spoods going to the back line, waiting for the ball to find him. But Christian is going to find Tokyo's uh, grill in his rear as he goes for that demo. Christian right back into the action, not missing a beat. Grilling it back, a nice pinch, sending it over to the corner. No one was ready to follow up off of it. However, it's going to be a nice setup, but no one's going to be able to capitalize off of it as Udom takes it back over to Orange. Saints are going to be battling it out here. Nitrix looks for the gap in the... Uh, dribbling there and really just takes it out but it's going to find its way back over to their side once again nitrix goes for the clear but it's going to get bounced back christian's going to be able to find that one and finally spoots sends this one packing and it's not going to get sent right back immediately the saints are now on the offensive spoots finding his way into the corner battling it out against jerry but he's going to find that clear he's going to let him have it as well as they know nitrix is ready over on their side to send this one into the skies. Nitrix rattling it out, but ultimately not gonna make that one work. Tokyo and Nitrix just switching back and forth between their perspectives here. Spoods in the corner, trying to get there at the very least, and Nitrix on the ground, making sure that ball is not gonna leave their clutches. Tokyo slow crawling this one up against the wall. Spoods ready to battle them out as they both hit each other on the ground and then meet each other in the skies. A very coordinated dance. Nitrix preventing that one from going back over to their side. As Christian makes his way back behind. Spoods ready to stop that one from getting cleared. And just a small touch with, no, Christian flying into the net. Kimo was there to take that one out, prevent it from going in. I think that's as good of a save as you could possibly ever hope to get in a situation that looked almost guaranteed to be a goal for the Saints. Kimo was ready to say, hell no. Jerry trying to really make that save worth the while of his teammate Kimo. They're still battling it out here. Over on this side, Spoots just fighting over into the corner. Nitrix gonna be stuck over on Blue's side, but at least this is looking to be a good thing as the Saints offense very quickly comes back. He switched spots with Spoots and Christian. They're on the offense, but once again, tacking out Spoots to the back. Nitrix to the front, Christian over on the side, waiting for it, finds it, gonna get that clear, prevent them from going in, but another shot, not quite, no one went for it, as Christian set that one up. Nitrix is able to chip that one into the air. Jerry, looking for that pinch, he finds it, that's gonna be one on the board for Université de Montreal. And it's not looking pretty for the Saints just yet. One minute on the board or one minute on the clock, one on the board. This is losers. Once again, you lose one more matchup, you're out of the tournament, and it seems that the Saints, they are not having a great time thus far. Nitrix and Spoods. Christian as well, all over on blue side. Looks like they're going all in for this right now. They don't have a lot of time to work with, so if they're going to find something, it's going to have to be fast, and they recognize that. You can see it reflected in their play. Nitrix into the corner. 
but Spoods, oh, a beautiful rebound shot. I don't even know if that was planned, though. I will give them the benefit of the doubt and say it was as Jerry looks to get it clear, but Spoods was ready for it, chipping that one right into the top left corner of the net. And now we're tied up with 30 seconds on the clock. Are we already going to go into another overtime? These guys don't want to give each other a break. They don't want to give me a break either. <laughs> I got to say, I respect it for sure, though, playing with 100% of their heart and their skill to try to keep their tournament dreams alive. This Jerry tries to get that pinch, just misses it. But Tokyo trying to go for the follow-up. It's relentless aggression. Spoods carrying this one forward. A little slow on it, just keeping it on the ground so they can get that overtime. But Christian's going to pop it up and it's going to get sent down. It's going to be the reset here as we go into the overtime once again. And right off the kickoff, Christian is going to find a little bit of an advantage. We're going to go over to Kimo, who's going to be able to take that one back. Now, Nitrix going to try to find something here. Spoos is going to intercept the interception. It's not going to go as fast into blue as it might have been otherwise. But Christian with a nice save. Kimo. Gonna be trying to battle with Spoots, but he breaks it away, steals it. Jerry is going to come around the corner and stop it from going anywhere. Too dangerous. Nice shoots the shot onto the net, but no follow-up. Christian waiting on their side of the field. Spoots is gonna get that nice, quick, and clean clear. And Christian following it up to make it even more ambitious to try to intercept. Going over to the blue corner now. Christian's gonna go back. Nitrix and Spoots taking over the offense, but Kimo, they're gonna be trying to beat it over. Tries to send it over Christian, but Christian's gonna get the demo on Kimo. I'm not even sure how. It looked like Kimo was behind him. Very interesting how that one worked out. Christian and Spoots up on the front. Nitrix near mid, but Christian going for another demo. He's ravenous, bloodthirsty, does not have a care in the world. He wants nothing more than make it to the CCA Summer Series. And once again, you can see it in the aggression that they're laying forth. One side of the Saints, Chemo and Christian rubbing their sides together here, trying to scrape some paint and exchange it. Maybe trade colors, maybe trades teams here as Nitrix with a nice and calculated, slow, easy, clean shot. No one able to stop that one out. Time was bought for him by his team. They know he's able to deliver and deliver he does as that's one more goal that's gonna take the Saints to take this game one. The overtime is gonna go their way. An excellent game by both teams thus far. And as we're heading into game two, I'm excited to see what these teams have in store. Université de Montreal was able to take one goal there. In fact, I think they were the ones that led the goals. Saints only found their first one 30 seconds away from the first game. So this team is not to be messed with for sure. And they're demonstrating that they have the skill, they have the capabilities to beat the Saints outright without much of a fight, but it seems that Saints don't want a repeat of that last game as they're heavy on the offensive right now. And Spoods just driving through two of them, brute forcing that ball into the net without a care in the world, sends it in. Look at that, two of them bumping one of them, in fact, as he made his way into the net. A very nice shot indeed, as with 17 seconds into this first game. Saints are already one on the board, but can they stay that way? That's all that matters in the end. You can get a goal, but you have to maintain the advantage. You have to maintain the lead. And Christian faking them out here, making it look like he was gonna do an air drive, but just resets on the ground and bumps it up. Christian and Nitrix. Spoods, in fact, also on the offense. Christian playing midfield, however. Spoods trying to clear this one up, but Christian, as he was buying a time for him, Christian comes out from behind and sends that one flying forward. Tokyo in the air, and that's open for the Saints, but they can't get over there fast enough to make it a goal. Saints are able to get back in time. They recognize that that's the Saints offense is really all about is knowing when they can get aggressive, knowing when they can triple commit without it biting them in the butt. But looks like Tokyo is going to be taking another shot. Going to catch the axles of Spoods. Nitrix sending this one flying. Can anyone beat him out here? No, he was able to cradle that one down, but Kimo stopped him. None of his teammates were ready to make the follow up. Christian cutting that one short. Spoods. Nitrix taking it along, along the wall. Kimo sitting on the back lines here. Spoods taking that one up, however. 
Tokyo not too far behind. Nitrix on the ground trying to meet this one, but Christian from the sky is pinching it. Going to send this one into the air once again. Jerry almost finding a gap, but opts to not take it again. It would have been a little too risky here. Three minutes on the clock. Saints leading one point thus far. Tokyo is trying to battle out with the Christian, but as they take things to the wall, Jerry, oh man, always finding those opportunities, finding those moments. It's never when we're watching Jerry do we see him fly through like a missile and just make a very good steal for his team. But once again, 2.40 on the clock. The Saints are still leading one. It's looking that the Saints are still doing a great job of maintaining the pressure over on uh, Udom's side. So they haven't even really had much of a chance to get aggressive. They haven't really had much of a chance to make any real plays. They are just constantly playing on the back foot so far. And Saints are very happy to see that. Now Spoods getting a nice interception off of that clear. Jerry, however, on the wall, looking for the pass to Kimo, but it's gonna get intercepted by Christian. He's even gonna try to make that a self pass, but no. Nitrix now up in the air, trying to send that one where he wants it to, carrying it, but not quite smooth. Sending that one over, this is always the shot you wanna see as it would bounce off the top post and allow one of your teammates to shoot it in straight from the center, but not gonna be able to get uh, that one going as it's gonna get intercepted. 140 on the clock now. Been a full minute since that last time check we made. But Christian carrying that one forward. It's going to get beaten out by Jerry, however. Spoods, Nitrix on the back. Christian still making aggressive plays. Now he's actually going to be playing on the back line. Nitrix and Spoods switching sides. All three of them looking for something here, but they quickly recognize they need to play a little bit more uh, passively, a little bit more carefully, as Udem was able to find uh, a nice clear and a nice attempt, but off the top post, trying to go for the pinch, keeping it up there, but Nitrix and Spoods, 50 is gonna go the way of Saints. Tokyo catching that rebound, but it's not gonna matter. Christian intercepts it and almost sends that into their net. Nitrix riding the wall. Spoods and Christian are in the back line. Tokyo, the rest of Udem almost finds something here. It's looking pretty good for them, but no, it's gonna get cleared out once again. A nice bump exchange, sending them both fly. Christian and Tokyo, or Christian and Jerry rather. Christian out in the air. Nitrix on the ground waiting for him. Can they turn this into a shot? No, doesn't even need it, but a pin shot. It's gonna get the off angle, however. Very unfortunate, but they're still maintaining their lead. 30 seconds remaining for Udem to find a goal to tie this one up. This is about when the Saints found theirs, so who knows? It's far from impossible. Wouldn't be uncommon in this game, but oh, that almost was another goal. Kimo once again with these excellent saves, keeping their dreams alive. Jerry with the breakaway. Can this be it? Tokyo with the follow-up. Can he find it? Kimo setting it in. Boots is ready, but no, Jerry, no, it was a little too slow. And with that, the Saints are gonna take this game. Very well played over UDEM. It was a very close match, especially right near the end. But with that match, with that game out of the way, that is also gonna be the match. Saints are gonna take it 2-0 over Université de Montreal, and that's gonna be them advancing through the lower bracket, keeping their tournament dreams alive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Saints are still fighting. We hope you can continue to lend them your energy because they definitely need it fighting through this bracket of hard hitters. But we're gonna send it to a quick break as we get ready for the next game. We'll see you all very soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are finally back here with the action for St. Clair College and they now have their opponents here. It is Robert Morris University. Usually, wow, right off the bat, I didn't even get to dilly-dally here. There is no time for that with the Saints and their path towards their qualifying uh, for the CCA Summer Series. They want it badly, as you can see. They're getting goals immediately right off the get-go. But Robert Morris University, as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted, are no slouches when it comes to any eSport titles usually. So I'm very excited to see how these teams come out against each other. But it seems that they're both coming out swinging. No mystery there. But how else the rest of this series will go, that I'm very excited to see. As Illuminous, excited to see that save coming out there. Oh, Nitrix going for a nice clean shot. Seems that Demented, uh, demented Sheep uh, looking to try to pursue that ball there. Uh, but GJM trying to get the clear. Succeeds, but ultimately Spoods chasing that ball back over to orange side. Now, looks like Robert Morris. They're trying to set something up, but Spoods is going to be able to escape with the ball. Luminous once again catching it, getting control, but Christian's going to steal that one away, leaving Nitrix to chase this one into the corner. Illuminous intercepting, not going to allow anything to break through or turn into an opportunity, but Christian does the exact opposite, steals that one, turns it into two shots, fakes one out, turns that into a shot, but ultimately it's going to get saved out once again. Nitrix trying to follow up off of it, not going to go through. Spoods picking up after Christian, just missing that rebound. Nitrix is going to go for a demo. This is a brief window opportunity. It's going to be gone now, but at least it's going to mount some pressure on Christian going for the shot, rolling it, but not going to find it. Nitrix Tricks riding the wall now, coming down from the ceiling. Illuminous taking this one away. Saints are relentless right now in their assault. Illuminous waiting for the ball to reach him, but Christian's not going to make that happen. Carrying it through the sky. Spoo's going for a shot. Demented Sheep's going to get a nice clean save. Christian waiting for that ball to come to him, but Spoo's is going to take control, take matters into his own hand, pinching it down, but Illuminous is going to intercept that pinch. And it's going to be a shot on the net, but going to miss by quite a bit. GJM taking the other shot with the nice follow-up from Illuminous. This is the soccer equivalent of an alley-oop. What an excellent play. Centering it right there, right in the air, right, making that basically an impossible save. And now we're tied up one to one, three minutes on the clock. Saints gonna try their best to win this kickoff. I feel like anytime they get the clear advantage on the kickoff, they turn it into a goal very soon after, but a pretty neutral one here. Spoons just waiting around the blue corner. Christian going for this nice setup, but it's gonna get intercepted once more. It seems that Robert Morris won't make the same mistake of allowing the Saints to have uncontested access towards the center field right in front of their net. That seems to be a doom spell. It's unbreakable, pierces BKB. It's not gonna have a chance to really do anything about it once it gets set in motion. Illuminous carrying it, but Spoo is gonna intercept now. Dropping this one to the ground. Demented Sheep waiting for him there. Christian stealing it out. Riding around the corners, taking to the wall, but it's going to get caught by Luminous, stopping all momentum, preventing a bounce. Spoots going to be carrying the torch forward. Nitrix not too far behind. Christian going for the nice clear, but it's going to get intercepted. And in that fact, right off the post, it's going to get turned into another goal for Robert Morris. Just GJM catches that rebound from himself and nobody from the Saints side was able to make that save. It was going into the corner that nobody was occupying. Great aim, great play, great shot. Robert Morris University now leading 2-1 against the Saints in this game one. Nitrix getting demoed out immediately. It's going to basically lose all the momentum, all the advantage that they had coming off of that kickoff. It's going to be a nice little reset here as he respawns and the ball goes back over to Blue Nitrix cutting that one out. It's going to get picked up by Demented Sheep. However, Spoods is trying to go for an interception, but it's going to be too late. Christian, Nitrix, a little bit of a collision there, but still Christian's going to be able to get that save. JM taking it over to Orange Corner now. Spoods there waiting for him. He's going to lose a 50, but Nitrix almost intercepts it. It's still caught. There's still no, no one's able to catch that ball. It's still rolling through the air, but ultimately Illuminous going to go for the contest. Nitrix is going to follow that one up. Pick off that rebound. Demented Sheep off the ceiling looking for the pinch. Spoods 
desperate, trying to find something, goes for the save, and it's gonna work. One minute on the clock, Nitrix gonna follow it up and try to get the clear from that save from Spoots, but it's still over on their side of the field. A post, it's gonna get hit. Nothing's gonna come from it though. Christian and Nitrix working together to get the ball out of their zone. Now, Spoots trying to meet this one in the air. Not gonna get up fast enough, however. Nitrix catches it, takes it right out of orange corner immediately. Spoots even finds a demo in the wake of his destruction. And Christian goes for the shot, and that's gonna be a beautiful play. All three Saints working together, collaborating to make that one possible. And now a very familiar situation. Two to two, 40 seconds on the clock. Looks like the Saints, they are not unfamiliar with the circumstance that they're in right now. Maybe Robert Morris, less so. Who knows how their runs have been going, but the Saints are all too used to these high pressure situations. It's still game one, but you definitely want the momentum, you know, pushing your sails on your sea to victory. So taking game one would be huge for either of these teams. A lot less pressure staring down, potential elimination going to the next one. Mentis Sheep trying to turn this into an opportunity here. Spoods sending that one towards the net, but it's going to get intercepted by JGM. Luminous trying to get this one out of blue corner. Knight's just going to say no. Christian's going to say yes as they try to take it to the center field, but ultimately this is most likely going to go to an overtime as the ball is sent into the air and no one's going to be able to capitalize and turn this into a goal. It's still going, however. Spoods, Nitrix on the ground, but it's going to get cut. And we're right back into another overtime. I believe this is the third overtime we're seeing the Saints occupying right now. Very curious to see how they're going to try to turn this one in their favor. Nitrix immediately with the demos. That might be the key, but still a long way to go towards victory. But they're inching ever closer to it. Spoots catching that shot towards orange side. Christian following off, taking it down to the center. Going to get intercepted up by JGM. Christian. Right in the corner, taking it to the center once again. Demented Sheep going to intercept, send it over back to Saint's side. Chasing it around, Illuminous cutting that interception. And it's going to go straight to the center, but a nice interception from Spoods preventing the shot from coming out. Nitrix rolling around, trying to take this out of their side. And they're going to succeed. Christian riding the ceiling and the wall, going to just the ball's going to escape him in that moment. However, Spoods going to be next to get demoed. Nitrix finding his time, catching that one before it makes its way completely over to Orange, but it's going to still pop its way over the corner. Spoots is going to catch it, however, prevent it from making too much further back into their side. Christian and Nitrix contesting over here, competing for the ball. Uh, Christian's going to be able to find that one to the air. Illuminous is going to intercept it into their corner now. Saints are going to have to fight for this one if they want it. And fight they do. Spoots finds it in the air once again. Christian and Nitrix setting things up for themselves. Nitrix going right for it. If he could have gotten that one a little bit lower, he would have been able to fake him out, beat the 50, and take that into a shot. But Christian trying to make this pressure non-stop. It's going to escape him, however. Smooth to Nitrix over on the right side, Christian on the left. Now Christian once again flying through, but JJM is going to beat him to the ball. Nitrix catching that one, taking it up. Spoods finding the rebound as it makes its way back over to Saints side. Setting this one in, trying to go for the shot, but no, Illuminous is there to interfere with that one. Demented Sheep carrying this one towards the Saints, but it's a kerfuffle right in front of the net. Unfortunately, no one's gonna be able to capitalize off of it on Robert Morris, but right off the post, no, Nitrix is just gonna miss the clear, but Spoods able to find that one, take it out. Almost three minutes since this overtime now, Nitrix gets the demo. Can this be an opportunity, a chance to go for the net? No, Illuminous is doing such a great job of stuffing it, and I even find the clear immediately after, but Nitrix catches it, keeps it over onto Robert Morris' side of the field. Spoods waiting on Saints' side, able to prevent this from turning into a disaster on the offense, and uh, the defense really working in their favor, as now Spoods waiting for Christian's ball to do something here, waiting for it to turn into an opportunity. Not even a boost to his name. Christian's still doing a lot of work over on the blue side of the field, but now it's time for Spoots to take over. And rather than that, Dement is gonna take over for Spoots as he takes the ball right out of his hands. 
Nitrix is going to find another demo. Spoons and Christian calculating things, trying to make this work. He's going to carry it to the ground, carry it up once more, but Luminous is going to intercept. Very well played. Almost worked in his favor there. Nitrix over into the corner. JGM. What can you do here? Spoots blocking that shot up. Demented Sheep looking for anything. A chance, a hope. Both of these teams locking each other into a bit of a stalemate right now. It's just taking turns back and forth, playing the field. Once again, almost an entire full second game in this overtime. Both of these teams want nothing more than to take this game one. Spoots beating it up in the sky. JGM is going to swat it down. Christian waiting, waiting. Nitrix not going to do any waiting. He's going to get active and pursue the ball. Chris is going to find a nice demo. Going to give a little bit of breathing room as Spoots tries to get the clear. JGM waiting from the ground. He catches it, sends it back towards Nitrix as he sends it back to the worst Robert Morris, but they send it right back to him. Nitrix competing with this ball, making sure it doesn't escape him here. And he's going to send it flying out back to Robert Morris' side. But Illuminous is there, catches it, brings it right back to center field. Nitrix now looking for something. Mets Sheep goes for the shot, but it's going to get bumped away. Ball will as well. Back to Robert Morris inside. Robert Morris' side. JGM on the ground, waiting for it. He's going to find the clear. Illuminous with the assist as well. Nitrous and Spoots play on the defense. Christian right in the net, waiting for anything to go wrong. But nothing's going to go too bad. And Christian's going to be able to take this one out of Saints' side. Not going to be able to get that full carryover, however. Spoot or Nitrix trying to make something have work with Spoots. Passing it over, going for the shot, but intercepted once more. Now we are in our basically second overtime of this game. Five minutes, 20 seconds into this one. And Demented Sheep trying to end this one here, and he finds it. That's going to be three to two over to the St. Clair Saints in this game one. Don't let that timer fool you. I know we've completed more than two at this point, but we are just going to be heading into game two now. Excellent play by Robert Morris University. And it looks that the uh, game two going to be coming up very shortly. A little bit of a lobby issue, but these players are eager to get back into the swing of things. They don't want to lose this match. I can see it in the way they're playing. The Saints are fighting so, so hard. Robert Morris University, of course, doing a lot of fighting themselves. And they did so, they did such a good job at fighting, in fact, that they're able to win that game. I can't believe the amount of overtimes we've seen from the Saints so far two of them making it just to the fi uh, five minutes. In fact, this one making it past five minutes. So they've already played all basically two games against this team here, but we're still just making it to game two. Now, Robin Morris University off of the heels of their victory against the Saints in game one. Can they make something happen here in game two? Or will the Saints be able to pull this back and find their victory? The ball's rolling away. Jess almost escapes him, but thanks to the boost that they had in the reserves, they are able to chase it, prevent it from finding its way into the net. Nitrix going to be able to intercept that roller. Now Spoots trying to turn this into something for his team, but Christian also going to be doing that amount of work. Spoots setting up for his teammate. Tried to get that centered up, but Nitrix doesn't even need it. Going to be taking that one into the goal as it rolled off the post. Set up by Christian and Spoots. Nitrix there, ready for that shot. Now, four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Still ample time to bring this one back. Robert Marius University, after that deadlock, that complete stalemate of a game one. Seems the Saints are kind of finding their stride and a little bit of their confidence back against this team. Christian, in fact, going for another shot, but it's going to get intercepted once again. You Luminous battling him out. Another shot coming out from Nitrix. No follow up, unfortunately. Spoots looking to rectify that mistake. Nitrix as well. Christian with a clean shot, bouncing that one out. Demented Sheep is going to get that save. Spoots on the back line playing midfield. He and Christian. Chasing that ball, sending it towards the net. It's impressive how they always angle these clears or these centers straight towards the net so consistently. JGM's gonna get demoed. But now Christian 
riding the wall, sending it once again towards the net, carrying it so carefully. A little too slow, however, it's going to be intercepted pretty easily. And another shot, JGM, Nitrix is going to get a clean save for that. Christian, for his efforts, going to try to get a breakaway, but Spooz is going to have to carry that one forward now as the, another steal is going to come up for Robert Morris University. It's going to hit the ground. It's going to be flying towards Robert Morris inside, and thanks to Spooz chasing that ball, finding the momentum, that's going to be another goal on the board for the Saints. Three minutes remaining. It's Robert Morris University yet to find one in this game, too. But if the last game is an indication of anything, they are more than capable of doing so. But hopefully the Saints have found what they need to make this work for them. And we're getting right back into this after the kickoff. Spoo's familiar situation, riding the ceiling, trying to get the ball centered up, good to go. Nitrix almost finds that pinch. That would have been huge for that shot attempt, but Spoo's chasing the ball as it gets cleared out. Now, JGM going for the shot, followed up by Dementia Sheep. That's going to be in. No! Nitrix there for the save. JGM going for another one, but Dementia Sheep able to find it off of that micro pass, basically just bouncing it off of the rim. Look at that, or the post. Very, very briefly, just sending it right at the angle he needed to be. Nitrix, unfortunately, uh, a little too far ahead from that shot. You can't blame him. No one could have seen that one coming. And that's going to be Robert Morris fighting their first against St. Clair College in this game, too. But Nitrix, hey, he didn't like it very much when they scored on him. So he's going to make sure to score right back on them immediately after the kickoff. 3-1 to one now, St. Clair College over Robert Morris University. Another kickoff, another chance for an immediate breakaway shot. Can anybody make this happen? We'll have to wait and see. Not quite, but Christian already trying to make this a very quick one. Luminous riding the wall and stopping that center from making its way. Spoods waiting for Nitrix to get something done here. Christian also on that back line, finding a nice demo, going straight towards the net. Luminous is there, however. Spood stealing it from under Christian. It's going to allow him to ride the momentum, take it towards the center field, but not going to be able to get a clear or a setup shot for him. There's too many Robert Morris agents blocking him out, but Spood with a clean shot. This is just regular old soccer at this point. He went for the save. Wrong angle. That's just going to be a nice shot and a goal. Classic with St. Clair College taking another goal. Another kickoff, another opportunity for both of these teams. We're gonna find a little bit of gridlock there. Bumper to bumper. Two minutes left in this game, four to one, and that's gonna be five to one. In fact, when it rains, it pours with the Saints, five to one now. Against Robert Morris University. Very well done by this team. They've really found their stride after the struggle that was game one. Has St. Clair College figured out Robert Morris University? Unfortunately for them, but fortunately for Robert Morris University, they won game one. So even if they do come out on top in this one, they still have another whole five minute set that they need to triumph over Robert Morris University in order to make it through into the next series of this tournament. But with a five to one advantage over for St. Clair College, a four goal gap. This one's looking to be their game. Christian set up perfectly for Nitrix there, just missing that timing, however. Minute 30 on the clock. Robert Morris University. Well, they might be able to find some goals. I don't know if they can find that many in such a short amount of time. Either way, they're gonna try their best for it, of course, with nothing left to lose. I would expect them to just get super aggressive here. Uh, a five goal gap is not much more scary than a four goal gap. So they just want to try to tie things up, just get as many goals as possible. And that's going to mean taking risks. It's going to mean taking scary plays, scary situations. That's exactly what we're going to be looking to do here with 45 seconds remaining. Demented Sheep and the rest of Robert Morris University squad are not letting off of the gas pedal. JGM trying to intercept that little clean pass, but Nitrix getting that save from the opposite side of things. That Demented Sheep shot not going to find its marks. Boots is going to get demoed out. Christian is chasing that ball over into Robert Morris' side like a missile coming from the heavens. Demented Sheep sends that one directly into the ground. Spoods 
carrying the ball on his roof, launching it just so subtly into the air. Meant his sheep so close, but not quite smooth now. The corner, a luminous on the ground, but with one second remaining, there's not a chance anymore for Robert University. Robert Morris University to find the goal. That's gonna be game two going to St. Clair College as you can't find four goals in zero seconds. Game two going to St. Clair College, heading into this game three, feeling confident, I'm sure. St. Clair College really doing great work coming back from the uh, just the shortcomings from that first game. But both teams have every chance to surprise us here as we get into this third and final game of the series. Let's see who comes out on top. Whew, as we try to uh, combat my allergies here, definitely gonna have to find a napkin after this game. But hopefully the Saints won't have to find napkins themselves to wipe their tears. Robert Morris University already demonstrating that they're more than capable of overcoming this team. Can they pull off what they pulled off in that previous game and have an even bigger score gap in this game three? Let's find out as the Saints are starting things off relatively scarily, in fact. And Robert Morris University already pushing them back into their goal side. Night Strikes clearing it thanks to the help of his team and he's carrying it forward. Chris is not too far behind, capitalizing off of that rebound. Nitrix over on the corner, Christian, Christian and Spooz chasing as well. Christian's gonna go back to the words of that, but Christian and Spooz are gonna maintain the pressure here. It's gonna get cleared out, Christian chasing it. Gonna try to reset it, but it's over. Back, now back towards the center, Spooz spinning through the air. Nitrix is gonna be the one taking the initiative, but it's gonna go right over his rooftop. Spooz on the ceiling, taking the ball to the ground. Nitrix doing the same, Christian, a little bit of a defensive wall, preventing them from getting too close for comfort. Spoods in the net, clearing that one out, finds the opportunity for it in Luminous, trying to do the same. A lot of mirrored gameplay going out on both sides of the field. It's definitely beautiful to watch. No goals yet. Both of these teams remaining steadfast. And now Nitrix setting that one up. Spoods, however, oh, so close. Illuminous intercepting that, seeing where it was going, did not like that one bit. Changing the angle. Spoods chasing it once more. But the sheep trying to get it over Nitrix, and he sees the Christian's gonna get demoed as he chases that one out, trying to corral that one back into the center. Spoods, however, he's there as well, and it's all over on Robert Moore's side. They were down one for a little bit, but they're still having, uh, holding strong. Nitrix, Christian, and Spoods passing back and forth to try to find something. Sending it to the air. Can Spoods find something? It's not going to get intercepted. Luminous went for it, however, pitching it off the top post. Nitrix trying to find something, but it's going to get sent to the ground by Robert Morris University's finest here. Spoods chasing that one over to the corner. It's going to get launched into the sky. Nitrix on the ground in the trenches, doing all the battling he can, and he takes that one right into the net, taking it 1 0 against Robert Morris University. Now, heading into this next kickoff, I'm sure the Saints, they're gonna be battling it out and doing their best to make sure they can maintain this goal lead. As Nitrix already finds this first demo of this kickoff, and Spoods now just watching the ball, waiting for it. Nitrix chasing it up. Christian, like a missile from downtown, but intercepted once again. Robert Morris University always there to stop these really dangerous shots. They never want to let any of these slip through. The Saints are so good at finding them and setting themselves up for it. Christian once again, missling his way in, but Luminous off of that uh, back post, back wall rather, able to prevent it from being a nice center. Spoods into the corner now. Christian chasing it. Not gonna find it, however. Loses 50, Nitrix intercepting that clear. Christian up in the sky as well. Now, the ball is calming itself down momentum-wise in front of Robert Morris University, but they're gonna find the clear. Nitrix passing that one up over the uh, attacker from Robert Morris University, and Luminous is gonna do the same, returning the favor right back over the Saints side, and that's gonna be a very nice shot, one to one, and it's also one to one in the series points. Things are getting scary for both of these teams. One minute, 50 seconds remains. This is anybody's game here, ladies and gentlemen. Loser is eliminated, winner advances on. Who is going to overcome? 
Dom here. Let's find out after this kickoff. Is there going to be any overwhelming advantage for either of these teams? No, not quite. But Robert Morris University, in fact, Christian's actually going to be able to steal that clear. Trying to find his way back into it. Doing such a great job of maintaining control of this field. Saints are, but Illuminus looking to make a mistake into a goal. Robert Morris University now up one over St. Clair College. Saints were looking so, so good before, but now it's looking to be slipping out of their hands. Can they tie this up before one minute and 34 seconds elapses and they find their way out of this tournament? Only time will tell. But if the history is repeating anything so far, if trends go to show, the Saints have so much fight in them. When it comes to these uh, back against the wall scenarios, they strike and they fight like their life depends on it. Christian Spoots now trying to maintain control. Like I said, doing a great job of controlling the field. Not gonna get intercepted. Christian going for the shot and it's tied up. Spoots carrying that forward for him. That's gonna be a shot and a goal for the Saints. Tied up 2-2 now, just like we were in game one. A minute on the clock. Is this going to overtime again or can either of these teams find an opportunity to get a goal before then? As we head into the kickoff once again, these teams are looking to be in a very strong form. A great performance so far from both of them. But Illuminous, alongside the rest of Robert Morris University, Nitrix riding around the ground now into the air, beating them halfway. Illuminous bouncing that one back. Spoots sending that one into the ground once more. Christian trying to find it, but it's going to get intercepted. JGM, he's even going to get bumped for shovels. They really don't like this guy on the field. They want to make sure he has as hard of a time as possible. And I really feel that pressure. A shot coming out. Robert Morris University is just going to miss the angle. Nitrix taking this one forward. Can you find it, buddy? I believe in you. JGM going to take that one away, stealing their hopes and dreams. Spoots into the corner. Now Christian going for that clear. He finds it. No one's going to even dare contest, and they know he He's Demo City, and he's carrying it forward into the net, but JGM's there to stop him. Spoots riding the wall now into the corner, going for a pinch. Nitrix is there, but it's not going to go the way they wanted it to. Now Christian with a nice sick drift is going to try to catch the ball, but they're going to demo him out, just basically guaranteeing now that we will be going to an overtime with these teams here. Yet again, Christian going for a shot, actually, but no, it's going to get sent to the ground. We are going to an overtime, and with zero seconds on the clock, infinite time to work with here, these teams are going to be fighting until someone falls. It is a battle to the death. Spoods goes for the shot. Illuminous is there to say no, however. Once again, going for it, but intercepted this time. It's not even going to make its way towards the net. Christian cutting that ball short, making sure it doesn't escape their clutches, escape their talons, escape their claws, but Demented Sheep might be a wolf in sheep's clothing here as he's looking to get aggressive, pursue the ball. St. Clair College riding this ball down. Nitrix into the corner, intercepted by Demented Sheep once again. Christian sending that shot forward, but Luminous is there to make the save. Robert Morris University, they are not leaving any gaps in their defense because they know it's spelled disaster in this situation. They've come so far. They don't want to go down here. Neither do the Saints, but someone has to lose. Someone must fall. Spoods wanting to, to be Robert Morris University as he tries to get the interception and make it perfect setup for his team. Going to get intercepted once more. Christian setting that one, cutting it short once again, but a shot from Demented Sheep is going to end St. Clair College's run. A great set up self pass and a cut from his teammate ensuring it goes in and that is going to be the end for St. Clair College. Robert Morris University with a very impressive showing is going to overcome our team and send us home packing. Unfortunately for the Saints they did such a great job playing Night Tricks really coming out and showing how strong of a player he really is playing with the rest of the team. Oh, what an excellent match. They all played so well together. It was some of the best Rocket League I think I've seen in such a long time. Honestly speaking, when the stakes are so high, it's hard not to get caught up in it. And again, those three players just playing so well together. But unfortunately, that's going to be the action here for today. The Saints are eliminated from this tournament. But... You know, hopefully we'll see some more Saints action down the line, maybe as we come back in September. But that's going to be it for us here today. 
I've been your commentary for today, Daniil, also known as Betis and McGee in the back. We've got Tommy and we've got Ari. But that's going to be it from us. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon. And, uh, of course, we have to thank our sponsors, Tim Hortons, Subway, HyperX, St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair College SRC for making this all possible. But once again, we're calling the action short for here today. Saints are not going to be able to qualify for the CCA Summer Series, but our spirits are still high. Hope to see you again soon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great day.